Hi everyone, I'm Erin Brenhaus from the Wildflowers Creative Team and welcome back to another video. This week, our inspiration is all from the art of an amazing artist. You can check her out on Instagram at Etta V. Today I'm using one of her murals as inspiration for my nail art. We'll be getting two nail arts in this tutorial, so let's jump right in. Here's the finished look. I just love this pastel design and this is the mural I was inspired by. Check out those different areas of color. So we're gonna start with a turquoise nail for the first one. This nail background is turquoise, we're gonna do two coats, and on the other nail design, we're gonna do white in two coats. So I've grabbed Rhapsody as the turquoise and tissue paper is the white from the Wildflowers gel polishes. Do two coats of each uh, to set up your backgrounds, and then we're gonna create um, a very abstract look on the white nail and a little bit more of a controlled look on the turquoise nail. I'm going to take some of Rhapsody and put it on my palette for later because I am going to use that a tiny bit in my design. Now I'll grab the Artist Gel Paints, my Magenta Brush, and my Indigo Brush. And we are going to get started on the more um, specific design. This one has like these little almost diamond looking shapes in them with some blue and yellow as well. And I will show you guys how to get that look. So begin by loading up your indigo brush. This brush is great for this design. We're gonna use some of the pink artist gel paints to get these diamond shape looks, uh, diamond shapes onto the nail. All you do is take a little bit of pink, make sure that your brush isn't overloaded with it. So I'm gonna put some pink on the palette. That way I could load my brush up and not have any big blobs of paint. So here we go, just load it up by dabbing. And now we're gonna start our little diamond shape by creating a vertical line. It could be quite small, but not too small. <laughs> so we're gonna do like a few millimeters. Oh, you, or um, yeah, that's about right. A few millimeters length. And then you're going to just Use your indigo brush to create that line. And we are going to go to each side of that line and make another line that's about half the, half the height. And then you're gonna go a third time and just almost make like a little dot. And that's gonna create the shape. So watch as I do that again a few more times on the nail. We start with a little vertical line and then we create two vertical lines attached to it that are about half the height, but going like right through the middle. You don't want it to start at the top. You want them to be centered. And then you go and do one little dot on, on each end. There we go. And I like to blend all those lines together to just make it look a little bit seamless with the pink. I'm gonna do that a couple more times. And to make my life easier, I'm gonna turn the nail upside down which you could always ask your client to turn their hand upside down so that you can paint in a way that is more comfortable for you. Again, I'm gonna go in, create a vertical line, do two shorter lines on the sides, and then a tiny little, you know, dot almost, or a, sh or a little line on the most extremities of the sides. I'm gonna do one more at the bottom of the nail just to create some balance. This part of uh, Jesse's mural was so beautiful. It kind of reminds me of like Southwest, you know, kind of boho vibe. I just, I just love this pattern that she had on the mural. Now we're gonna go in and put the blue and yellow in. So I've grabbed the Artist Gel Paints and we're gonna use the magenta brush to just do little tiny uh, lines inside those pink shapes just to give some color and to, to go along with Miss Etta V's design. I really tried to copy it. I loved her mural so much that I, I just wanted it to look exactly like the mural. So start with your blue, put a little bit on your magenta brush. If there's too much on your brush, you can use your palette to take off the excess. And then I'm just gonna make a little blue line inside each of those pink shapes. There's no rhyme or reason to the size that I'm gonna do of these. There's no wrong way to do it. There's no right way to do it. It's art inspired by art. So whatever comes out of your uh, design is gonna be beautiful. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of blue in each of my pink shapes. I have cured the pink. 
so I'm working on a cured surface so that the blue and yellow don't mix in with the pink and get muddy. We have just the yellow and the blue working together now on a cured surface. So I'm putting a little bit of blue into each of the pink areas. Super easy peasy and then I'm going to go in with some yellow. As you guys can see that one kind of went a little longer than I wanted to the blue area but that's totally okay. No big deal. I cleaned off my brush in between and I'm going to dip into the yellow artist gel paint and do the same thing. Take off any excess. And I have not cured the blue. I want the blue and yellow to merge together a little bit and create some, some blending there. That's completely okay to get some green. As you all know, blue and yellow make green. And it's fun to play around with blending colors. I love doing that. So we're putting the yellow just alongside the blue and using the brush should just kind of gently blend those together to get the look that you're going for. You can blend more, you can blend less. I'm gonna go back in with my magenta brush and blend a little bit more. Here I am just showing you where the blue went a little too low, but I think that that's totally okay. Let's cure that. And then the last step is just to top coat it with the Wildflowers Top Coat Gel. And this nail will be done. And we can jump into the rest of the mural, which I was inspired by just the pink, uh, different shades of pink on the wall and how beautiful they looked with the extra pop of turquoise and blue. So we will do that next. Let that level out and pop it in the light for a final cure. There, my line of light is good. So I'm happy with that. Next up, here we go. This is the one we're gonna do next. The rest of the mural wall was these gorgeous bright shades of color. So I'm just kind of re gonna reproduce that on top of a white background. By having a white background, it allows the nail to really pop. As you guys can see, I uh, use my indigo brush to dip into that pink artist gel paint and to just do messy vertical brush strokes all over the place, leaving some white areas. There's no rhyme or reason to where I put this. Now I'm gonna add to that pink that's already there. You never wanna waste the products that you're using. So I'm gonna add a little bit of purple artist gel paint and a little bit of red artist gel paint to that uh, little bit of, um, of pink to create a darker shade of pink, to create more of like a magenta shade of pink so that we could blend it. I have not cured the nail yet. We are working on a wet surface. The white was cured, but the pink hasn't. So like I said, we're gonna create a magenta shade by adding some red and purple artist gel paint to the pink artist gel paint. These um, colors really blend well together. To, you know, you can make any color of the rainbow with them, any shade in the world. The 12 colors will mix into anything you like. So there we go. I'm going to just blend that until I like it. Make sure I get a little bit more purple in so that it's a bit more of a deep shade of pink. And then I'm going to go back in with my indigo brush and put that into the spots that uh, have some white. And I'm going to also just blend it with some of that lighter pink, just like a painting, just like a mural. I was really inspired by her brush strokes, so I wanted to kind of mimic that. Swipe down with your new color and just blend. You can dip back into your palette to get more or you could just use what's on your brush and, and have just a tiny bit of the magenta. It's totally up to you. No art is wrong or right. It's just art. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. They've been a lot of fun for the creative team to create to come up with for you guys. We're having a lot of fun doing this and we hope that you try these ideas and tag us in it. This week the hashtag is WF Etta V. E T T A V E E. We are using the artist's um, Instagram name as the hashtag. So there we go. I've I've added my magenta. I like the way that I've blended it. If there's any spots that you leave white, that is totally okay too. I'm just going in and making sure that I, I get my corners and I, I get all my little splatters covered, but 
it doesn't have to be that way. You could leave white spots exposed. But I will go ahead and cure that now. And now I'm going to go in and create the other splashes of color. Some turquoise, some Rhapsody. As we took it out at the beginning, I saved some time by not having to go back and find it again. I'm going to pick a spot on my nail and just lay some of that down. Just some vertical brush strokes. With the indigo brush still, I haven't switched brushes. I'm just going to make that a little bit more opaque so that I won't have to do a second layer. This is all done in one coat. We'll do another spot at the top. I love Rhapsody. It's such a vivid turquoise color. Now I'm grabbing a little bit of the blue, the artist gel paint, putting that back on my palette. I've cured the Rhapsody, I've cured the turquoise, and I'm gonna go in and do just tiny little areas of the blight of the bright blue just to make um, some contrast and just to look like the mural. <laughs> like I said, I was so inspired by this mural that I really just grabbed all the products that I thought would match with what she created. It was such a beautiful piece of art. So I've added a tiny, tiny bit of blue, just a hint, and we're gonna grab the yellow and do the same thing. This time I'm just gonna grab the magenta brush so that I could have more control. The indigo brush has a lot more bristles, so this one will create um, a smaller area of yellow. So I could do a little line. I did not cure the blue, so I am again creating a, a hint of green by blending the dark royal blue with some of the yellow. And uh, that just gives a little bit of green to the design at the bottom. And a little bit at the top. And that's it. That's how easy this abstract mural design is. Once, uh, once you're done with the yellow, you can go ahead and cure that and we're gonna top coat it. I just wanted a bit more vibrance. I love the way the yellow pops against the pinks and the blues and the greens. So I, I just add a little bit more yellow. You can blend as little or as a lot as you like. <laughs> Top coat gel always to finish off. And we will be done this design, guys. I would love to see you try this. To try either one of these two um, designs or both together. I love the way they look together, to be honest. When I had these nails on my hand, all five fingers, a mix and match of these two designs. I just love the way it looked. So I highly encourage you guys to try and to tag us, WF Eda V. And we will catch you on the next video. A quick tip before curing your top coat is to swipe down with gloved hands like I just did to remove any excess from the nails so they don't get bulky. And here's a final look again at the amazing artist Etta V and her mural with this cute dog that was my inspiration for this art. Here's the finished look. I really hope you guys try it. Don't forget to tag us. Have a good one.